this home has reached out to clients far and wide, both locally and internationally. Scribbling colored pencils on paper is all Nelson knows as a source of livelihood. For six years now, the exceptional portrait artist has been pursuing his self-taught skill and all it took for him to realize that this can actually be nurtured into something big was a single portrait ordered by his close friend. He delivered the art to the girlfriend as a birthday present and the, guy, and, and the lady was so happy. So the guy came and, uh, and paid me 1,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. That's where the idea of doing art full time came from. So I decided, hey, I want now to start doing this thing full time. With time, I started now using better materials. And Big was a single portrait ordered by his close friend. He delivered the art to the girlfriend as a birthday present. And the, guy, and, and the lady was so happy. So the guy came and, uh, and paid me 1,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. That's where the idea of doing art full time came from. So I decided, hey, I want now to start doing this thing full time. With time, I started now using better materials. Uh, six years later, here we are now. And with the mindset of many that art is a side hustle or cannot sustain one fully, he has looked past this and made things work for him and has never looked back. This mentality whereby somebody has to tell you that because art is like music, you will find most people they will tell you, hey, if you get me to this, you won't really depend on it. You will be disappointed. Mm -hmm. But if you persevere and you do it fully with passion, everything will come. Fame, cash, clients, customers, all those things, they will just fall into place. Though the portrait making process is a walk in the park for him, attention and precision of the pencils on paper have to be practiced. But what sets him apart from other portrait artists in the country? Colored pencil art, like this one, majorly in Kenya, it is used by nursery school, nursery school kids when they are being taught how to color. But then now you see I started using these and I've perfected them to the level that I now do this, I can create an awesome piece of artwork from them. I deal with my clients directly because most people they draw random things. They can draw animals, uh, Maasai themed art, and then maybe take it to Maasai market or an art gallery or an exhibition and wait for Amzungu to come and buy and stuff. But with me, I draw people direct. You send me a picture, I draw you, I frame the art, I deliver the art. Currently, 3,200 portraits have left his home-based studio into the hands of clients across the world. As they say, teamwork makes the dream work. Nelly has been able to tag along a team that guarantees the success of every portrait sold. I've done artworks from the whole of Middle East, Qatar, uh, Dubai, Bahrain, all of those people have ordered acts from, <clears throat> from all those uh, countries. I have delivery guys, I have uh, riders who deliver my artworks to clients, and I have a guy who does my framing. He, I have employed him fully to just frame, frame for, uh, to make for me frames, and then once I'm done with the art, I frame them and then I deliver to the client. Like any other business, challenges have to be met. Though with the rise of COVID-19 in the country, he is among the chosen few as his business has not been greatly affected and is still up and running. I can't really say that I'm affected that much because, uh, you know, I still do my work. It's not like I've been told, hey, you can't go to the office, you can't, no, I'm still doing my work and uh, self-quarantine. <laughs> my job is like self quarantine in itself because I spend most of the time uh, seated and doing my work. Once I'm done, it is framed and delivered. Nelson, a man with a great vision ahead of him, alludes that his ultimate dream is gunning to be the most sought after portrait artist in East Africa and mentoring many upcoming artists who some have sought after his tips and tricks. Because I had the dream to be the most sought after in Kenya and I've already achieved that. Now I want to be the most sought after in Africa. And then after, if I achieve that, now I go to the world. We want one time to, to open a school for the talented kids because there are so many people have seen who are talented but they just don't have the knowledge to know how they will expand that talent to reach everyone in every corner of the world it takes a colored pencil to bat such an amazing piece of art 
and to a self-taught portrait artist like Nelly Mcharaji, this is a walk in the park. Reporting for TV 47 from Kayole, Nairobi County, my name is Nanok Loren. Thank you so much for that story, Nanok Loren. Really, really awesome story. And it's about one Nelson Musiomi, uh, better known as Nelly Mchoraji, not Mchoraji as I had to pass it. Right now. And he's using his talent to make beautiful portraits. And he's really like to go ahead and not give us Because I knew they know you would, you would do that, so I, I decided to do the honors. Now he's using his talent to get clients, not just in Kenya, but internationally. And he's actually mentioned that he's been able to employ someone who makes the frames for him. And it's really, really interesting. Well, found interesting in all these stories is the fact that youths are using their God-given talents to, right. you know, make a kill, make money, even during this pandemic. What do you guys think about it? And as TV for 7, of course, we have put the youths on the forefront, especially we have to support them. And mm -hmm. I would say Nelly Mchoraji, yes. I would say he is Kayole's finest. And doing whatever he's doing, it's, yeah. it's a talent that is not with many people, that colored pencil artist. And therefore, I think if I get an opportunity to, to get my, 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 my myself being drawn, I would mm. really appreciate it. So whatever he's doing, and uh, what I would encourage that I, I would like to see these people mentoring other people because, you see, we should pass this uh, by, the way of, by way of apprenticeship. But what he's doing, Nelly Mchoraji, thumbs up. Mm. Whatever he's doing, thumbs up, it's bravo, I mean, it's a, it's a good thing, and we're all inspired, mm -hmm. and for sure, I would also, we, I think we should we should promote him, let's all try and get our portraits drawn, mm -hmm. you know, support small businesses so that they're not affected by COVID-19. Right, any other sentiments? Yeah, I think uh, for those who subscribe to Christianity, mm -hmm. uh, we know the story of Moses, when God asked him, at that time when they were crossing the Red Sea, I don't right. know if it was the Red Sea or the, <laughs> or the that river, yeah. river, 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 Yeah, God asked him, what do you have? Concept. Yes, he said, I have a rod, okay. and he used that rod, they were able to cross. So, for, for, he said this, um, Nelly, Nelly, yeah. 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 so Nelly is so he's using uh, his uh, tense well, mm. he's using his ability well, and the results, Quite an awesome story by Nanok Loren. Zainab, on to you. Tell us what your story is about.